Hi, my name is Gerald Chambers. I'm a marriage and family therapist. I want to take a look at myth number five. Battering often stops on its own. Battering seldom stops on its own. Many men decrease their level of violence over time, but few stop entirely. When they do stop, the emotional abuse usually continues. Emotional abuse can be an effective means of controlling someone, especially after the violence has been introduced. You know, once a batter puts the smack down, then it's more effective to just thre threaten or uh, give a cue or use emotional abuse in order to keep, keep the, uh, their partner in check. You know, emotional abuse reminds her that um, the violence is not far behind. You know, kind of similar to many, many people who have grown up in households with um, corporal punishment. You know, do I need to fix your face? Do I need to give you a reason to, to, to cry? You know, that was a type of verbal abuse that, that um, the children associate with a spanking or being hit, and they would quickly correct themselves. You know, a lot of times uh, treatment programs only look at whether they stop the physical violence. But if we don't also try to work on emotional abuse and verbal abuse, you know, our effectiveness is not that great. We may be inflating our effectiveness. You know, and, and for Gottman and Jacobson, for the, the men that they observed, you know, they may have stopped the intensity and frequency of the violence, but they didn't really stop the emotional abuse. I don't know how long he had them. And in, in my particular group, I typically have men for 52 weeks if they come through all the sessions. Many of them drop out though. And I don't really have a way of knowing once they leave how effective we are at, at dealing with the emotional abuse. But we certainly try to, to work on it and, and uh, help them with that. You know, emotional abuse, as destructive as it is, many victims talk about that being worse than the physical abuse. You know, it's not against the law. In my view, Gottman and Jacobson's research is important to our society for other reasons. With all our technological advancements and science and all of that, we still haven't figured out how to prevent one person from hurting another. And I, I believe that battering is to a relationship what terrorism is to a society. So if battering behavior doesn't stop on its own, what about terrorism? That's one of the reasons why I think working with perpetrators is so important. If you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe. Thank you for listening.